Please on end in hospital emergency departments. Chris Question number nine, Dr Paul Hutchinson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Health, what reports has he received regarding improved services for dementia patients? Honourable Tony uh, Mr Speaker, New Zealand faces a rising tide of dementia as people live longer. Whether it's a family member, a friend or even personally, dementia will touch all of our families. I've seen many positive responses to the government's recent announcement of extra dementia services, the third year in a row that this government has provided extra funding for dementia. This means over the next four years, the government will be investing over one hundred million dollars more into dementia services, almost certainly the largest increase in funding for dementia care in our nation's history. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Paul Hutchinson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what are some of the specific dementia services that the significant extra dementia funding support? Honourable Tony Ryle. Mr Speaker, there will be a $12 million increase in funding for dementia bed subsidies over the next four years. This is important because it encourages further investment in dementia beds, remembering it's projected that the number of New Zealanders will treble, a uh, number of New Zealanders with dementia will treble uh, over the next 40 years. There's going to be another $2 million invested to support dementia awareness programmes and to support clinical teams in early detection of dementia and a further $1.2 million over three years will be invested in dementia-related training for healthcare workers. Uh, despite very tight financial times, our government continues to make health investment a top priority, including early detection and support for serious long-term conditions like dementia, which are important to New Zealand families. Question number 10, Honourable Phil Goff. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Defence.